Hello, guys. I have been using this leg extension equipment for quite a while. I DIY'd quite a long time ago, and it has been working great. So uh, today I'm going to show you guys how I made it, and hopefully you guys can uh, build your own equipment. Now let's get started. This frame is made out uh, two by fours. Very simple. The back stretcher, I used the pocket hole screws. I cut a piece of uh, plywood to use it as my seat. At the bottom is the beams that will sit on the top of the power rack. I drilled two holes here that will be attached to the power rack by a iron bar. Flipped it over, you can see the structure at the bottom. Um, again, it's just two by fours and uh, I use the pocket hole screws for everything. Next step is to put the legs onto the frame. I use the jigsaw to cut and knock curve at the top, so when it's moving, it doesn't stick out. Again, I install the stretcher using pocket hole screws. Clamp them together and now it's time to do some pose again. I did one more block and use both nuts to connect them together. Put a few wraps of uh, duct tape to avoid this nut to back off. I am going to use one inch pipe to enter through, so I use the one one eighth inch uh, Fosner bit to drill the holes. After holes are drilled, I also added the two blocks on each side at the spacers. The installation process is also easier than what you might thought to be. It doesn't take you long to get it installed properly. I used one inch bar that I took off from my clamp, which worked okay for me. The size is perfect for people like me, and even if you're a little bit taller, it doesn't matter. To be honest, I don't see much difference between this one and the ones in the gym and you could sit comfortably and uh, exercise perfectly, no problem. The spacer helps to maintain the position of the weight plates. When I don't use it, I just uh, remove everything. It's also pretty simple. Nothing complicated, just the reverse uh, operation. After removal, I normally just put it aside. I have a spot to um, store this equipment, so it doesn't take much space. Here we go, this is normally where I store them. Here you can see the second purpose of the spacer that I used to help me level up the equipment. Hope you enjoy the video, I will see you next time.